Sorel RMD, what is a permacath? I place permacaths all the time in interventional radiology. I love placing these devices. And let's go ahead and talk about permacaths because to a lot of people, this device can be very confusing. So the term permacath itself is somewhat confusing. What does that mean? I prefer the terminology tunneled cuffed dialysis catheter because that's exactly what the catheter is. It's used for dialysis. It's tunneled, meaning the portion of the catheter is underneath the skin in the subcutaneous tissue. And the catheter is cuffed, meaning there's is a small polyester cuff that allows the body's tissues to ingrow into that cuff, uh, securing the device for the long term. And that's why it is called a semi-permanent device or a permacath. So first, let's just take a look at a permacath in situ. Here's a great image of a permacath in situ. Here you can see the two lumens of the catheter, the arterial lumen and the venous lumen. You can see this big dressing here is covering the subcutaneous tract that the catheter takes from the right chest into the right neck. And from here, the catheter goes deep into the neck into the internal jugular vein, where the tip of the catheter is gonna be somewhere in the SVC caveoatrial junction. So here's what the device looks like. So here are the portion of the catheter, which is connected to IV tubing. Again, this is the arterial lumen. This is the venous lumen. This is the portion of the catheter where we place two stitches to secure the catheter initially into the body. And then here is the portion of the catheter from about here to here is gonna be in that subcutaneous tunnel. Here's that Dacron or polyester cuff. This allows tissue to ingrow into this area. It takes about one week of time for that to happen. And once that happens, this catheter is basically part of the body. This will secure the device internally. Now, how secure is it? Well, if you grabbed on the end of the catheter and tugged, this catheter would not come out. In fact, in order to remove this, we have to take the patient into the interventional radiology suite and surgically dissect this out, grab this with a Kelly clamp, and pull it right off. So, of course, you don't want to test this. You don't want to put too much strain on this catheter. You don't want to be tugging on it all the time, but rest assured that if this is properly healed, this catheter should be well secured within the body. And that's exactly why we call it a permacath. It's a semi-permanent dialysis catheter. So again, this portion of the catheter is going to be within the vein, the uh, internal jugular vein, and then the SVC, and a portion of it will be in the right atrium. These are the two lumens of the catheter. This is the arterial lumen, and here's the venous lumen. And you can see that they're staggered because we don't want to have mixing of blood here. The goal of the catheter is basically to move blood out through this hole here and out of the body into the dialysis machine, treat the blood, cleanse it of toxins, and place it back into this venous lumen so then it can be placed back into the body here. Now, what size is the catheter? So, as you know, the bigger the size of a device, the more flow you can get. This is essentially a big straw. If you have a coffee stirrer and you have a straw, you can definitely get more flow through the regular drinking straw than you can through the coffee stirrer. So how big is this device? It's usually about 16 French. And what does that translate to? You divide by three, so you get about uh, five millimeters as the size of this device. Again, here's a nice image of the device in place. Here you can see the catheter. You can see the subcutaneous tunnel. And you can see right here where the catheter enters the body. Let me show you what this looks like on x-ray. So this is the image that we take immediately after we place the device to see whether it's in good position. Here is that subcutaneous tunnel of the device. You can see right here very faintly, this is actually that Dacron or polyester cuff. So that's going to be in that tunnel. Right here, as, it, as the catheter curves downwards, now the catheter is inside the vein. And here on the x-ray, we can see that going in the vein. We can say it takes a straight course right down, and the tip of the catheter is in the SVC right atrial junction. So that, in a nutshell, that is what a permacath is about, or as I like to call it, a tunneled cuffed dialysis catheter. If you have any questions, you guys know how to reach me, Sorel RMD, all my listeners in the UK, US, France, and India. Thank you for watching, Sorel RMD. Take care.